السلام علیکم ایوری ون ٹوڈے وی ول لرن اباؤٹ دا ویکیوم یہ اسٹیشن آپ کو ایز اے ٹیچنگ اسٹیشن بھی آ سکتا ہے اور ایز اے ڈرل اسٹیشن بھی سو دونوں طرح سے آپ نے اس کو تیار کرنا ہے سب سے پہلے ایگزامنر آپ سے پوچھتے ہیں کہ آئیڈینٹیفائی دا ٹائپس آف ویکیوم تو اسٹیشن پر مختلف قسم کے ویکیوم پڑے ہوتے ہیں یو ہیو ٹو آئیڈینٹیفائی سو یہ ہمارے پاس ہے کی وی اومنی کپ اس کے آپ کو پارٹس بھی پتہ ہونے چاہیے لیبلنگ موجود ہے اس کے علاوہ دس از دا سلیکون کپ اینڈ دس ون از دا میٹیلک کپ تو یہ دفعہ انہوں نے اسٹیشن پر یہ بھی رکھا ہوا تھا اینڈ دیور آسکنگ اور وہ اسٹوڈنٹس کو یہ نہیں پتہ چل رہا تھا کہ دس از دا ویکیوم سو یو شوڈ نو دیٹ ناؤ ٹیچنگ اسٹیشن کے طور پر آئے یا ڈرل اسٹوڈیشن کے طور پہ آئے آپ نے آلسو کا اے ٹو جے نیمونک استعمال کرنا ہے اس میں کچھ پوائنٹس میں نے ایڈ کیے ہیں فار دا پیشنٹ سیفٹی اینڈ دیٹ واز ریکوائرڈ سو وی ول یوز دا نیمونک You will tell to the examiner or in teaching station, you will tell to the student or your junior that when we have to apply the vacuum, we will use A to J mnemonic. A for ask for help. We will ask for senior obstetrician, senior midwife, senior personal train in unital resuscitation and note the time. Number second, we have to address the patient. Tell the whole procedure to the patient, its benefit, risks and we have to take informed consent. We will make sure that there is appropriate analgesia and we have to keep the patient in lithotomy position keeping wedge under the right vertex. B. B for bladder. Bladder should be empty and there must be backup plan. Mean the theater facility must be there. C. C for cervix. Cervix should be fully dilated. The membranes should ruptured and there must be adequate contractions. And also, you have to check fetal heart rate. D. D for determine. Determine the position, presentation and the risks. Head must be engaged and the station should be at level or below the ischial spines. Anticipate the complications like perineal tear and shoulder dystocia, PPH, etc. E for equipment. Equipment must be ready and test the vacuum on gloved hand. F for flexion point. Now apply the vacuum under aseptic measure but first identify the flexion point that is 3 cm anterior to the posterior fentanyl in the mid sagittal suture. Apply vacuum in between the contractions. Check the application for any maternal soft tissue within the rim of cup. If any, release the cup and reapply. Create vacuum of 0.2 kg per cm square negative pressure. Increase the vacuum to 0.8 kg per cm square negative pressure and check the application of the cup. Do not exceed 600 mm of mercury in the red zone and wait for 2 minutes to allow non to form. G for gentle traction. After maximum negative pressure has been applied, start gentle traction in the line of pelvic axis perpendicular to the cup. With each contraction, apply traction. Place fingers of non-dominant head on the scalp and thumb on the cup during the traction to prevent potential slippage during the descent of the vertex. Now edge for hold the procedure. You should know that when to stop the procedure. You have to stop the procedure when there is no evidence of progressive descent with moderate traction during each pull of correctly applied instrument by an experienced operator. Discontinue vacuum assistant birth if there has been two pops off of the instrument or 20 minutes have been passed but there is no delivery. R for incision. Give episiotomy at the time of crowning. If required, J. Mean jaw. Remove the vacuum when jaw is visible. Deliver the baby and hand over to the personnel trained in the neonatal resuscitation. Do active management of the third stage of the labor. Check for gentle trauma and repair the episiotomy if incision is given and do digital rectal examination. Cover mother and shift to the recovery room. Monitor vitals, give analgesics, antibiotics and do VTE risk assessment. Document the whole procedure with date, time and signature. 
debrief the patient and family and tell she non will disappear after 48 hours discharge with red flag signs and follow up